Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about some common objections that people have to try the keto lifestyle. There's, you know, a lot of misinformation out there and I want to dispel some of those common objections today in this video. Hi, I'm Tiffany Nicole and I'm here to guide you on your journey to the keto lifestyle. Let's get started. So the first common objection that I want to talk about is the one where people say, oh, it's too expensive. I can't afford it. I have to buy all this fancy stuff and I just can't afford it. Let me tell you, that is not the case. You can literally do the keto lifestyle on a shoestring budget. I, I promise you that you can. There, all, you don't have to buy, I mean, there. yes, there are a lot of fancy supplements out there that are very expensive. There's a lot of, you know, fancier foods that are very expensive and that people say that you have to do to follow the keto lifestyle. I'm here to tell you that is not true. Everything you need to be successful following the keto lifestyle, you can buy at your local grocery store. And it's, it's mostly staple stuff that you would buy anyway. It's just buying things that, um, you know, obviously are low to no carb, but they're all pretty much staples that you're gonna buy anyway. It's really the added stuff that you buy, which you're gonna cut out of your diet to follow the keto lifestyle. I promise this can be done on a shoestring budget. So don't let people telling you that you know, it costs so much to follow the keto lifestyle because I promise you it does not. Now you can, if you have the budget and you want to buy all this extra fancy stuff, that's fine. But you don't have to in order to be successful following the keto lifestyle. So another common objection that I hear often is I don't want to have to cook two different meals, one for me and one for the rest of my family. You don't have to do that. You do not have to do that. Basically, what usually happens is there's like some main ingredients that you're cooking, whatever meal it is, but there's like extra stuff that's added in that has all the carbs and all of that. And so basically you cook the meal, but on your portion, you leave out that extra stuff and your family can have that extra carb stuff, but you just have the main ingredients in whatever dish you're cooking. And then I want to share something else with you that if you have not tried this, that you are that you will probably not believe me, but I'm so here to tell you that it's true, is that there are the keto lifestyle, the, well, the food on the keto lifestyle is so delicious and yummy that you're going to be able to make almost every meal. And if you don't tell your family, they're not even going to know that it's a keto dish. I promise. I feed my kids stuff that's keto all the time. They don't even know it. It's just delicious food. That's what people really don't understand about the keto lifestyle is that the food is delicious and there's tons of it that you can make that if you serve it to someone, they're not going to know that it's keto. I promise. So don't let the fear that you'll have to be doing all this extra cooking and making separate meals keep you from trying the keto lifestyle. The next objection that I hear often is, I just really don't want to feel restricted and deprived. And this kind of goes back to what I was just talking about in that the food on the keto lifestyle is so delicious that you don't feel deprived. And this is what has allowed me personally to succeed with the keto lifestyle and why I've never been able to succeed with any other lifestyle of eating, way of eating, I don't know what you want to call it, is because on the eating the, on the keto lifestyle, I do not feel deprived. I am able to eat delicious foods that I love. And I want to also let you know that if there's some food that, you know, that you know is not, will not work on the keto diet, the keto lifestyle, it doesn't mean you can never have it. There is still times that 
I eat, you know, something that I'm not supposed to eat. I just do it very minimally, just where I get to feel that I have it. But I, of course, don't, you know, eat tons of it. But, you know, it, it doesn't make me gain weight. It doesn't ruin my health. And it doesn't kick me out of ketosis. And so, yeah, you know, don't feel like you're going to feel deprived. Because that's the, I feel, the greatest thing about the keto way of eating. Is that you're eating such delicious food. I mean, whenever I first started, and I started making this food, I'm like... This is so good. I would eat this anyway. So please don't let this be the reason that you don't try the keto lifestyle. Another common objection that I hear is, I'm afraid that if I eat this way, it's going to raise my cholesterol. Or, you know, substitute whatever you want to put in there for cholesterol. And also, in hand in hand with this, there's a lot of critics out there that will naysay the keto diet and will tell you, oh, how it's unhealthy for you and it's bad for you. All I can tell you is you have to tune those negative Nancys out because the keto diet, I have seen it improve so many people's health. With mine, it lifted my depression and it lowered my blood pressure. I was even able to get off of my blood pressure medication. Um, the cholesterol, which is a common one, that's why I started with that. No, it does the opposite. And I know it sounds counterintuitive, but it, it, it does not negatively affect your cholesterol, um, despite that common myth that it will. Now, as always, I always encourage you to check with your doctor um, before trying any new way of eating or, you know, any form of new exercise, anything like that. I, you know, I, I do want you to always check with your doctor and, you know, you, there may be some particular health condition that you have that maybe you can't. I don't know of many, if any, that I can even think of. But I'm not going to tell you that there is none out there that the keto lifestyle will negatively affect. But definitely check with your doctor. But the main point is don't fear that the keto way of eating is going to negatively affect your health. The final objection that I'm going to share with you here today is I'm afraid that it's going to make my hair fall out because I've heard that, pe that people's hair starts falling out whenever they start the keto lifestyle. So first of all, let me say that that's not completely wrong, okay? That is something that commonly happens. First of all, I want to share that anytime a person does any kind of, you know, dieting, and especially if they lose weight really quickly, that can make your hair fall out. So let me put that out there first. Second, most people's hair starts falling out whenever they start following the keto lifestyle because they make um, a common mistake, which is they eat too much protein. Um, now this is supposed to be a moderate protein way of eating, but a lot of people overdo it on the protein still. And that can make your hair fall out too. That sounds crazy. But too much protein can cause hair loss. And especially if you're, if, especially you ladies, especially if you're using hair products that have extra protein in them, which is common in a lot of hair, hair products, then that's a double whammy for you right there. So, um, so know that. And then also, here's the trick that most people don't understand is that aside from making sure that you are still getting all of the vitamins and minerals that you need, you need to be also making sure that you are getting your, um, um, your, I can't think of the word I'm trying to look for, but that you are ingesting collagen, okay? That is the key to preventing the hair loss. And there's plenty of products out there that have collagen in them so that you 
can make sure that you don't experience the hair loss. Um, and putting, let me just say, yeah, I know collagen, usually you think about that for putting on your skin. And yeah, that's what the common way that people use it. But in order for you to get the benefit of not having hair loss, it has to be ingested, okay? Not, not, not just put on the skin. So that is the trick to not experiencing the hair loss, is to make sure that you are intaking collagen. So as always, I hope that this has been helpful to you, and I hope that if you have any of these objections that I talked about, that I have dispelled them for you, and that you will take the next step and try the keto lifestyle. And I encourage you to like my video, um, to leave some comments for me, and subscribe to my channel so that you will always be notified of any new videos that I put up. As always, Stay strong and keto on.